Block 12, practice two. Again, keeping this theme of how do we get more weight in our hands and leveraging positions or exercises to allow us to use as heavy as possible dumbbell or kettlebell as we go through this training block. We're gonna open up A1 with an incline bench, two dumbbell, neutral grip bench. And we're gonna go through that five reps with a 50 exo tempo, trying to increase the weight that we've done the previous blocks with maybe a single arm or maybe a more challenging, more vertical position on that overhead press. We're gonna pair that up with a split stance. So again, leveraging that more split stance, giving us more stability in that pelvis. RDL, so it's not like a single leg RDL, but it's gonna be a little bit more split, give us a little bit more opportunity to use heavier weights because we'll have more feet on the ground, more stable pelvis. RDL is five each out with a five of tempo. And then we're gonna move into our B series. We're gonna progress our lateral squat into a posterior lateral squat. So we're gonna get a little bit more rotational effect. So feet will be oriented 90 degrees apart. Lateral squat, five each side. We're gonna pair that up with a low split. So get down again into a split squat position. Contralateral band row, so the band will be attached to the rack. We'll pull as heavy a band as possible, holding that, that position of stability. Five each side with a 50 exo tempo. And we're gonna pair that up with one more exercise in that B series, a half kneeling, so one knee in the ground, one foot in the ground, med ball zercher hold, 15 seconds each side. And we have really heavy med balls, so we should be able to push that all the way up to that 100 pound mark, trying to create as much internal pressure as possible, challenging that position. Again, really pushing that strength side of the envelope.